Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to share files and folders between host machine and virtual machine on VirtualBox. Okay, so as you can see that I'm running you know Windows 10 in VirtualBox and I have you know host machine over here. Okay, so let me create one folder that I wanna share. Okay, so let me give it some name share folder. Okay, you can give it any name if you like okay so just select the folder and then right click on it and then click on properties and then click on sharing tab and then click on share button over here okay and then click on this drop down and then click on everyone okay okay guys and you can select and you can create new user if you like okay and then click on add and here you can give you know the permission level so you can give it you know retry read write or just read only okay so let me select read write in this case i'm just selecting this one and then click on share okay and it, as you can see that your folder it you know share just click on done and then click on close okay guys and after that uh, you need to go to your you know virtual you know virtual machine and click on this you know uh, devices and then click on this insert guest editions cd image okay so just click on it and here we have this you know the notification like uh, virtual box guest editions click on it and you have to run this run vbox windows editions.exe click on it and then click on yes and we have the you know guest editions you know setup wizard okay so just click on next click on next click on install as you can see that we you know vm virtual box guest editions is being installed okay so we just need to wait a little bit so be patient okay guys so it's now done and you just need to reboot your you know car you know computer you know this you know virtual machine so as you can see that it's in you know restart so here we have this you know window windows 10 logo over here and it's restarting okay so you just need to click on it and then provide your password to log in okay so we are now you know logged in okay guys so after that you need to go to this you know uh, devices and then you have to go to this you know shared you know folders and then click on shared folder settings so here you can see you know the shared folders click on this you know the plus add folder icon add share and here you need to give you know the folder path of this you know shared folder this folder over here okay so just you know click on this and then click on other and here uh, you can you know browse for folder so i have it on my you know desktop so let me go to desktop and then i need to browse to the folder so here we have shared folder just click on it okay and here you can you know give you know the permission like read only auto mount or make permanent okay so i'm just selecting make permanent so that i will be able to you know access the shared folder whenever i I log into you know the virtual machine and then click on ok and just click on ok and it's now you know done okay guys and after that you need to you know open your network and here we have this you know, network as you can see network discovery and file sharing are turned off our network computers and devices are not visible so just need to click on this you know over here and we get this you know little know two options over here 
So turn on network discovery and file share. Click on it. And yes, turn on network discovery and file sharing. Okay. So as you can see that it's now doing the processing. So we just need to wait a little bit. Okay, so let me refresh it. So here we have this VBOX server. So just double click on it in order to open it. Let me open it. So as you can see guys, here, here we have the, you know, the shared folder. Okay so let me open it and i can make you know any file over here let me make it you know make one text document and let me go to my you know this shared folder and let's see if you know this document is available or not so here we have you know this document so let me create one new uh, text document and give it some name any name Shared. okay and let's go to you know the virtual machine and click on refresh so here I have you know the you know the, whatever the file name that I given okay guys and you can also you know create folder and share between you know the virtual machine and the host machine okay guys so this is really very cool uh, and you can do this to network folder as well so hope this tutorial helps uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, I will catch you in my another tutorials. Uh, bye bye. Take care